Yeah, I want to go over something else. Uh, that actually, this can boost energy pretty well. And I used to take a lot more of this stuff. I probably should, maybe again, because I used to work out three hours a day. So far, I did an hour and four. I've been doing like 100 minutes on the cardio thing now recently, which actually is a lot for most people. But I keep thinking, that ain't enough. But I don't know, maybe I'll do more now. But I already did an hour and 40 minutes. That's what I've been limited my. I used to do three hours, but a part of the thing, I think... You know, and I experiment with this stuff. I don't know if it's like super hardcore fact, but what I'm going to tell you here first is pretty common knowledge. Maybe not to everybody, but pretty common knowledge in some of the circles that are, you know, into sports or working out if you want to get more energy. Uh, you want to raise the ATP in the uh, cells. ATP is like a coenzyme, which is like the energy carrier for all the cells. It's It'll like... The higher ATP is in your blood and in your cells, um, the more energy you can have. It's like it's it's like how much energy gets transported in and out of the cells, I believe. Something like that. It's called ATP. But <clears throat> more importantly, how do you get this ATP? How do you raise it? You would take something. Usually that's why they'll sell this in combination. This is not really a cheap supplement. It's acetyl L carnitine or acetyl or L carnitine, which is a protein. Combined with alpha lipoic acid. Now, alpha lipoic acid is also known as a major um, you know, antioxidant. It clobbers some of the worst free radicals. It's probably one of the best antioxidants going. But in combination, these two, usually that's why it's usually sold in, sold, a lot of times it's sold in the same bottle, but you want to take both of that together. Sometimes it's in separate bottles. In other words, you'll have the protein. Uh, acetyl L carnitine and alpha lipoic acid separately, and you want it. To, you really want to take them together. That's why sometimes it's all combined in one pill like this. Now I used to take this like crazy when I was working out, like three hours a day or more, and uh, maybe it does really raise your energy. But as it raises your ATP in the body and it does produce more ATP, what happens is you need to take this too. <laughs> Now hopefully I'm not telling too many. It's actually good to take. Sometimes it's called a heart vitamin, but it's CoQ10 because as these two combined raise ATP, it uses up the CoQ10 in the body. So it's actually all three of these make up the AT helps raise the ATP in the body, which is like the coenzyme energy. Uh, you know, it's, it's it has to do with energy. It definitely has to do with energy ATP, but. The trick is to take these three together, really. Uh, you want to take the uh, the protein uh, acetyl l carnitine and you also want to take that antioxidant, which is very powerful, alpha-lipoic acid, that combination. But since as it's raising up, it's producing to produce more ATP, which is a coenzyme to give you more energy, you want to use, uh, it'll be using up CoQ10, so you want to add CoQ10. Now, I want to go into something that's not very commonly known. This is actually, in some circles, is more commonly known. But, you know, I talked about this um, microelectricity or blood electrification. I don't know. I, I use it all the time. I don't freaking think there's a problem with it. But there was something else I read and uh, going back. And I don't know. You know, maybe it's it doesn't. It's not traditional medicine. I don't know if it is medicine or whatever. But they say when you're doing this blood electrification, like this is like the original Beck device. You can see the thing, the the uh, red green light going back and forth. That means it's going positive, negative, four times a second. That's what it's doing. And you know, you have it so the wires go. I mean, it's on other videos I have. You actually pulse in the blood. Well, what happens is. As you pulse the blood with this thing, it causes the blood, the red blood cells, not to clump together, and they're more, you know, they just there's more they they're not squished together so they can operate better. Basically, I'll put it that way. But what happens is there are claims. I don't know how accurate it is or not, but there are claims that this blood electrification thing that was basically developed by Dr. Bob Beck off the patent that was uh, done in Albert Einstein College of Medicine, New York City. This blood electrification thing could help raise the ATP in the body quite a bit. I mean, they're given numbers of like 
up to 500%. I don't know how accurate that is or what. That's definitely outside the realm of traditional medicine. But, you know, it could be true. It just I want to throw it out there because it's in the papers. It's in some of the research papers that they have out there. I don't know how accurate it is, but, you know, since I was on the subject of raising ATP, I figured I'd bring this up. I don't know. You know, I wish there was more valid, like, science behind it. But it seems like any time, you know, I have a suspicion that I think this blood electrification stuff is probably a lot better than the tra traditional scientific world wants to admit. That's what I think. Because, you know, if we say it does work that well, it means you need a lot less uh, supplements and a lot less, um, you know, pharmaceuticals. That's what I could see. But I don't know for sure. But I did want to mention that because it's not, well, it's really buried in his research papers. And, you know, I read all this crap all over the place. You know, I look in it and actually... They say that this blood electrification thing, and I and I use this, I use it a lot, so I haven't seen any problems with it. As act will actually raise your ATP a lot, which is actually the energy coenzyme that the cell all cells use. So, the higher ATP you have, the more energy you actually have. So, you know, and I don't really want to make a claim on that, but I'm just saying that it's actually what it says. Actually, what it says. I don't know. I use it all the time. I don't see any problem with it, though. I can tell you that. But the traditional way to actually try to raise your ATP is take a supplement like this. This supplement actually isn't that cheap. Is not really that cheap. It's alpha lipoic acid, which is one of the most powerful antioxidants known to man. Alpha lipoic acid combined with the protein acetyl L-carnitine, and as the ATP is being produced in your body with these two ingredients and other things. It uses up the CoQ10, so you want to add some CoQ10, which is a very good thing to do anyway, because sometimes it's nicknamed the heart vitamin. But I just want to throw something in here, because I know it's not common knowledge. I know it's not common knowledge, but it's it's actually stated in there that a, the ATP in the blood, in the body, in the cells, can actually be raised by using the, the blood electrification. I don't want to say that that's like a guarantee, but it's it's in there. It says it. So, but I can tell you, I've done this so much for so many hours for so many years that I don't see where it hurt me. You know, I work out every day. I mean, I seem to have pretty good energy. I work out every day. Plus, you know, if I have to go pick up a thousand pounds of concrete, load it in the El Camino, unload it, and or you know, pick it up put it on a cart in Lowe's and load it in an El Camino and unload it and bring it someplace and put it in a shed, that'll still work out for two or three hours. Uh, you know, I got pretty good energy, right? <laughs> so I can't see where this thing's messing me up anyway. So, But there is stuff in the research that says, you know, that it helps raise the ATB because the blood, the red blood cells aren't clumped together as much. That's, that's how they explain it. So... I just want to put it out there as a point of interest, basically. I don't know, you know, I think there's some truth to it, but that's just my opinion, so. And, you know, I'm not a medical professional, but I, I think it's pretty interesting, so. Um, it's one of those facts, one of those things they claim is facts. It's really buried in the research, and you just won't hear it too much, but that's one thing they say the blood electrification can do is raise the ATP, but like I said, the yeah, traditional, more surefire ways with uh, supplements like acetyl L carnitine and uh, alpha lipoic acid combination, with a little CoQ10 on the side because you use up your CoQ10 as you produce more ATP. So, I think it's a pretty smart thing, especially if you're trying to like get more energy to work out. And ATP is the stuff that basically it's the coenzyme that gives the energy to the cells. Now that's how I understand it. I'm giving it to you in actually very layman's terms, but if you raise the ATP in your blood and in your cells, you will have more energy. That's basically how it works. So it's something that a lot of people want to do. You know, that's a good thing. 